Alright guys, welcome to my channel and today's video I'm going to be giving you some advanced tips on man eater. So stick around and enjoy the video. Maximizing damage to hunter in their boots is key to survival and the fastest way of dispatching hunters and unlocking the bioelectric mutation set. What I like to do is equip the bone fins which turns my shark into a spinning bone blade of destruction. You can do damage to boats by spamming the right bumper on the Xbox controller and R1 on the PS4 controller which is used to dodge attacks and in this case causes damage at the same time. If you want to cause damage to boats without getting hit as much, you can use this technique in coherence with the tail whip. You can throw in a few bites in there to maximize the damage you cause to the boat. All throughout your gameplay in Manita, you'll be tapping the button over and over, the bite button. It will definitely cause your index finger to hurt like crazy and go numb. So if you decide to play for hours, this could be a problem. To solve this problem, I'll suggest you equip any mutation that gives bonus thrash damage. And with this, I'll pick the bone teeth and the shadow head mutations, both of which would give you thrash damage bonuses. Thrash is of course the easiest way of dispatching your prey and predator. And all you have to do is catch your predator or prey in your jaw and move your right stick from side to side. And next I'm going to be talking about advanced sonar, which is one of the most important organ upgrades you could ever have. And I know this because I played the first part of my game without the advanced sonar and it affected me greatly, trust me. Advanced Sonar is the best way to discover landmarks, nutrients, caches and plates throughout the world of Man Eater. So another edge Advanced Sonar grants you is the ability to map prey and predator from a great range. Upgrading your Sonar ability to tier 5 grants you 300% more range and reduces the cooldown by 50%. Thrashing is the most effective way of dispatching prey and predator. To thrash a prey, you proceed by biting. And as soon as the thrash indicator pops up, all you have to do is move the right stick from side to side. A trick that I learned early on as an adult shark was to dodge a charge attack by another predator, after which the predator glows white, which means they missed and they are open for thrash. But guys, you have to watch out for the likes of the Marco, the Swordfish and the Marlin for they are extremely quick swimmers and will be hard to dodge. But as an Elder Shark, you won't be reliant on the counter-attack against most predators, including the Great White Shark and the Hammerhead since a single bite leads into a thrash. But you can't expect to bite an Ochre once and thrash them. You need to lower their health a bit before a thrash is opened. So once their health has been lowered a bit, all you have to do is wait for them to attack, dodge the attack, they will start to glow white which means they are open to thrash. But this will under no circumstance work on the spam wheel for it is impossible to fit them in your mouth. One thing most of the regions have in common is the fact that the waters are quite shallow so it is tough to hide from bounty hunters. But in regions such as Sapphire Bay and the Gulf, the waters are quite deep. Hunters will lose sight of you if you swim to the bottom of the ocean, except for the hunter divers who have balls enough to follow you down there. So just kill them all. So this is by far my favorite way of retreating or hiding from hunters when I'm very low on health. Alright, so that's 5 advanced tips and tricks from Manita. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you come back soon. And I do hope you like this video down below. Leave your comments and subscribe to this channel. Subscribe, you better subscribe. Alright, 
see you in the next.